You're not losing sleep because you're hungry. You're losing sleep because your body thinks you're about to die. Sounds insane? Think back to the last time you fasted for over 20 hours. Instead of crashing into deep sleep, you were wide awake at 2 a.m., brain buzzing like it just had coffee. Why? Shouldn't you be exhausted without food? No. What's happening is primal. Your brain has switched into survival mode. Stay alert. Hunt. Don't die. You're not in bed anymore, you're in the wild. And your nervous system believes that sleeping could cost you your life. Let me ask you this, have you ever felt unusually sharp and energized while hungry? Or the opposite, over ate at night and woke up foggy, sluggish? Then what's really controlling your sleep? Hormones? Habits? Or a biological system we were never taught to understand? We live in a world that eats at midnight, scrolls until 2 a.m., and wonders why it feels broken by morning. But you're not crazy. And you're not alone. In this video, I'll break down the raw truth about what actually happens to your sleep when you fast. From orexin hormones, to ketones, to the metabolic traps we fall into daily, it's time to see the science behind your sleepless nights. Watch until the end. Because I promise, after this video, you'll never look at sleep the same way again. And if any of this hits home, subscribe. You're not just watching, you're waking up with us. When you enter a fasted state, a silent figure in your brain begins to speak up, and its name is orexin, also known as hypocretin. This isn't just another hormone, it's the chief commander of wakefulness. Produced by a small group of cells deep within the hypothalamus, the brain's control center for survival and circadian rhythm. Under normal eating conditions, when blood sugar and leptin, the satiety signal, are stable, these orexin-producing cells stay quiet, allowing your body to relax and ease into sleep. But once you stop eating, especially after 16 to 24 hours, blood glucose drops, leptin declines, and your internal alarm system switches on. The orexin neurons light up like an emergency flare, signaling your brain to stay wide awake. You're not fighting sleep. Your brain is fighting for survival, believing you may be in danger. From an evolutionary perspective, this makes perfect sense. Imagine you're a hunter-gatherer ancestor, going three days without food. Falling asleep would mean missing your only chance at survival. That's why the nervous system was designed to do the opposite of what we expect. The hungrier you are, the more alert you become. Orexin is that survival signal. It not only keeps you awake, but also activates the sympathetic nervous system driving alertness, faster reflexes, and the urge to move. That's why many people feel more productive, more mentally clear, even energized after entering a fasted state. They think it's willpower, but it's actually ancient biology taking the wheel. What's fascinating is that orexine is also directly tied to narcolepsy, a disorder where people suddenly fall asleep during the day. Studies show that individuals with narcolepsy completely lack orexin-producing cells. This means that orexin is not just a sleep modulator, it's the central axis of wakefulness and cognition. When fasting triggers orexin, it's a double-edged sword. For some, it leads to intense focus and mental clarity. But for others, especially those with sensitive nervous systems, it causes insomnia, restlessness, rapid heartbeat, and anxiety. This alertness isn't always pleasant. And here's the kicker. Orexin doesn't act alone. It's part of a complex symphony involving cortisol, adrenaline, insulin, and other players. But it's the one that flips the switch the first click that launches a biochemical cascade and keeps you up all night, just because you skipped dinner. So if you're fasting and feel like a midnight warrior brimming with energy, know that you've activated a primal survival program. And if you can't sleep despite exhaustion, it's not because you're doing it wrong. It's because your brain is doing exactly what evolution designed it to do. If orexin is the internal alarm that jolts you awake during the early stages of fasting, then after 24 to 48 hours, your body transitions into an entirely different phase one of optimization and internal repair. This is when your brain begins to receive some of the most powerful biological gifts that fasting can offer, and it all starts with your liver. Once glycogen stores run low, the liver begins converting body fat into ketones, 
a remarkably clean source of energy for the brain. Unlike glucose, which tends to generate more free radicals and increase inflammation, ketones burn efficiently, producing far less oxidative stress and reducing inflammation in brain cells. This explains why many people report a surreal sense of mental clarity during this stage. It's not psychological placebo, it's real biochemistry powered by a superior fuel source. But there's more. As this shift occurs, another silent force begins to rise. BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, often referred to as brain fertilizer. BDNF is a powerful growth protein that nourishes neurons, encourages the formation of new connections, and supports the repair of damaged areas in the brain. It's a key player in enhancing memory, learning, and protecting against cognitive decline. Studies show that just 48 hours of structured fasting can significantly elevate BDNF levels comparable to the benefits of intense physical exercise. This reveals something crucial. Your brain doesn't go into sleep mode during fasting, quite the opposite. It begins actively rewiring itself and upgrading its internal network. The combination of ketones and BDNF forms a powerful duo. One provides clean, sustained energy. The other sparks growth and healing. If orexin helps you survive the early fast by staying alert, then ketones and BDNF are the silent repair crew, turning fasting into a natural neuroregeneration therapy. But not everyone gets to enjoy this biological symphony. If you've ever found yourself lying wide awake at night, eyes wide open, despite fasting correctly, you're not alone. Instead of clarity and regeneration, some people enter a frustrating phase of persistent insomnia, as if their own body had turned against them. Why does this happen? The answer lies in two underappreciated systems, hormones and electrolytes, both of which play a massive role in regulating sleep during fasting. When you fast, insulin levels drop significantly. While this is great for fat burning, most people don't realize that insulin also helps retain sodium. As insulin falls, the kidneys begin excreting sodium, salt, at a higher rate. When sodium levels fall too low, the body enters alarm mode and starts releasing stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline to preserve blood pressure and fluid balance. Cortisol and adrenaline are literal stimulants. They make your heart beat faster. Your brain stay alert and sleep feel miles away, especially at night when your body should be winding down. That's why you might feel physically fine, yet unable to sleep, because internally, your body is on a biological hunt mode, triggered by stress chemistry. There's more. Sudden changes in meal timing, like eating very late or skipping food altogether, can disrupt your internal circadian rhythm. Your liver, stomach, and other organs have their own biological clocks that sync to mealtimes. When these peripheral clocks get out of sync with the brain's master clock, your system becomes desynchronized, sleepy during the day, wired at midnight. So, if you're fasting and suddenly can't sleep, feel your heart racing, and find yourself wide awake at 2 a.m., you're not doing it wrong. These are normal biological responses from a body that's still adapting. The good news? Once you understand these mechanisms, you can work with them, not against them. And in the next section, we'll explore exactly how to fix it. Once you get past the initial insomnia, something remarkable begins to happen. Most people who fast correctly enter a strange yet powerful biological state. They sleep less, but wake up more refreshed. Why? The answer lies not in the quantity of sleep, but in its quality. During fasting, your body shifts focus toward energy conservation and repair. Sleep cycles are adjusted by your brain. And interestingly, the proportion of deep sleep, slow-wave sleep, increases significantly. This is the stage when your body repairs tissues, releases growth hormone, and clears toxins from the brain, the physical recovery phase of sleep. Meanwhile, the REM stage responsible for dreams and memory consolidation often decreases slightly. Why? REM requires more energy and glucose. In a calorie-restricted state, your body prioritizes what's essential, survival and repair. It smartly reduces non-critical processes to conserve resources. 
Despite sleeping fewer total hours, key physiological indicators reveal optimized rest. Heart rate drops lower, body temperature falls, both signs of entering restorative sleep. More importantly, HRV heart rate variability, a marker of nervous system resilience, spikes higher. This suggests that your parasympathetic nervous system is dominating, placing you in deep recovery mode. In other words, you're sleeping smarter, not longer. Your body may not need eight full hours when six of those hours are biologically supercharged. While this isn't an excuse to deliberately cut sleep, it highlights the body's incredible adaptability when entering a fasted, evolutionary state. In the next section, we'll explore how to support sleep during fasting through light exposure, meal timing, and circadian alignment to fully unlock your body's natural power to heal. If fasting can enhance sleep quality, why do some people, especially older adults or those with sensitive nervous systems, experience severe insomnia during fasting? The answer lies in internal biological shifts that occur with age. As we grow older, our hormonal and nervous regulation systems become less adaptive. This directly affects homeostasis, the body's ability to regulate blood sugar, blood pressure, and circadian rhythm. The HPA axis, hypothalamus, pituitary adrenal which normally keeps stress hormones like cortisol in check, begins to overreact or underperform, leading to imbalanced surges of cortisol and adrenaline. Moreover, liver glycogen stores your short-term energy reserve during early fasting decrease with age. This means that older bodies enter a biological hunger state faster, prompting the hypothalamus to activate orexin-producing neurons sooner. For people with sensitive nervous systems, even minor metabolic changes can trigger excessive alertness, especially at night, resulting in fragmented or shallow sleep. To make matters worse, studies from the American Academy of Sleep Medicine show that circadian rhythm regulation also weakens with age. The internal clock becomes increasingly out of sync with external light cues. Add fasting and sudden meal timing changes into the mix and you may completely disrupt an already fragile sleep pattern in older adults. In summary, while fasting can act as a powerful neuroregenerative reset in younger individuals, it requires greater care and personalization in older adults or anyone prone to neurological imbalance. Fasting still offers remarkable benefits, but only when tailored to your body's unique biological limits. Understanding what your body is doing during a fast is the first step. But more importantly, what can you do to help it sleep better, especially when you feel restless, too alert, or simply unable to drift off despite turning off the lights? Here are science-backed solutions, not just random sleep hacks. 1. Replenish electrolytes properly. During fasting, insulin drops causing the kidneys to excrete more sodium, meaning you're peeing out salt without realizing it. When sodium is depleted, your body triggers cortisol and adrenaline to maintain blood pressure. And that's when sleep becomes difficult. The solution? Replenish sodium, potassium, and magnesium. A glass of lightly salted water or bone broth in the evening can relax blood vessels, stabilize blood pressure, and calm your nervous system. Magnesium, especially bisglycinate or threonate forms, supports melatonin production, your natural sleep hormone. 2. Eat earlier. Don't confuse your circadian rhythm. Many people break their fast at 7 to 8 p.m. and try to sleep by 10, but you've just dumped a surge of glucose into your bloodstream. This spikes insulin, raises core temperature, and elevates heart rate, all of which fight against deep sleep. Ideal strategy. Have your main meal between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. This gives your body 4 to 5 hours post-meal to transition into restful mode. 3. Sleep hygiene light matters more than you think. Your sleep may be sabotaged by light. Blue light from phones, TVs, and LED bulbs suppresses melatonin, delaying sleep onset. Instead, get morning sunlight before 9 a.m. to anchor your body clock. Dim lights after 6 p.m., switch to warm tones or red light. Stop caffeine by noon, its half-life can last 6 to 8 hours. 4. Don't force sleep, cooperate with your biology. A common mistake is lying in bed, 
demanding sleep during fasting. But sleep isn't commanded. Your body is alert. Hormones are elevated. You need to soothe it, not fight it. If you're not asleep after 20 to 30 minutes, gently get up, move around, read a physical book, listen to calm music, or meditate. Avoid bright lights. When drowsiness returns, go back to bed. This retrains your brain to associate the bed with rest, not frustration. Sleeping well during fasting isn't about luck. It's about understanding your body's biochemistry and making small, timely adjustments. Electrolyte balance, meal timing, light exposure, and respecting your body's rhythms. When done right, you won't just sleep better, you'll wake up feeling incredibly clear, calm, and recharged. If you're fasting and find it hard to sleep, don't rush to label your body as broken or deficient. In fact, this may be a sign that your nervous system is working exactly as millions of years of evolution intended. Without food, the brain doesn't power down, it shifts into search mode, increasing orexin to keep you alert, maintaining stress hormones to stabilize blood pressure, and rapidly switching energy from fat to ketones. All of this can make sleep elusive but not necessarily exhausting. Instead of fighting this with sleep aids, learn to cooperate intelligently with your biology. Use light to reset your internal clock, replenish electrolytes to quiet stress signals, and eat at the right time to restore balance. A single night of poor sleep during a fast isn't a failure. But if you understand the science behind it, you can turn that challenge into a deeper connection with your body, not just on the surface, but at the level of biology and self-awareness. After all the hormonal, neurological, and metabolic chaos we've just explored, maybe now you'll see sleep during fasting in a whole new light. Sleeplessness isn't always a red flag. Sometimes, it's a sign your body is activating its most ancient survival systems. Instead of panicking over a few restless nights, you can respond wisely. Restore electrolytes, time your meals better, skip the caffeine, and most importantly, stop fearing the unknown signals from your body. We fast not to suffer, but to reconnect with ourselves, deeper, clearer, and healthier. If this video helped you understand even a small part of your biology better, hit that subscribe button. It's the biggest support you can give me right now. And hey, if you really enjoyed the content and want to say thanks in a tangible way, I'm not asking for much. Just one bottle of water. Seriously, no water, no brain juice.